Habib Omar said, Praise Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth, the one who brings together all of the first and last people for the day of judgment. In, ha in his hand is the power of everything and he is the God of everything and its possessor and to him everything returns and we believe in him and he is the God, the one, the truth. To him the first and the last uh, return. Um, he'll gather them on that day and he will judge between them and no one can overturn his judgment. And he said, he is the king and there is no other king. And he said, in he said, in his hand is the judgment. And he said, everything is beneath his decree. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the one who manners, who, excuse me, manages, brings things forward, delays them. He saves those who he wills and causes those who he wills to be damned. And he said, so I warn myself and you, beware of the great damnation he said, someone will not be saved from that damnation by being a king or a philosopher or a wealthy person or a thinker or a minister or a president or a pilot or a, an inventor or someone who discovered various things. He said, none of these things will avail someone who is damned eternally. And he said, on the tongue of the Prophet O oh Allah, you summoned us to eternal salvation and the various prophetic tongues invited us to the salvation until they were sealed by the best of all prophets. Oh, you who has received the generous gift of faith, honor, la ilaha, that is great with Allah and its greatness increased to the extent of the pollution and sparks dark heedlessness of those hearts those who have the darkness of disbelief and hypocrisy only the disbelief and hypocrisy will belittle la ilaha illallah or it is the key to paradise. The, the legs of Allah's throne, two words. Muhammad Rasulullah. Not find two sentences other than Allah and the name of the one who represents all creatures, Muhammad, the name Muhammad. Adam, due to the knowledge Allah gave, you created me and you had the soul. I looked at the legs of the fair written upon them was La ilaha illallah Muhammad. So Lord Adam, you spoke. Your messenger, your teacher, your Allah is a great gift in existence. Would you give it everything um, in the dunya? All of that would have been in. Allah uh, give us. Blessing. They uphold the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they say we thank Allah for the blessing of Islam and it is sufficient as a blessing. And then it stood the next and then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows them to see 
an angel where he says, oh, you, we have been recording what you have said from the last year and we have been continuing to record the reward, what you have received from that. And Alhamdulillah completes the mizan. Oh, Allah, if there is someone, anyone who lives in this world who venerates wealth or venerates materialistic or, or the oceans or devices, or uh, then let us declare that we love and our hearts venerate your religion. We venerate, these hearts venerate La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. They venerate the Sharia and we ask you to cure us from the hearts in which they venerate other than you, where it has been taken over and they have been deceived and deluded and they have seen and venerated that which have no verse, which has no greatness, which has no worthy of veneration, whether it's poverty or rich or whether it's dominance or of all of that, the best of it and the most blessed part of it is a connection between you and faith and what has come to us by you and your revelation of Allah. And disobeying you is true wretchedness and it is poison for the rich, for the poor, for the leader, for the big, for the small, for the Arab, for the non-Arab, for whoever's here and whoever's there. Glorified be you, Ya Allah, we glorify you and we glorify you. There are so many people living in just their own thoughts or their opinionated thoughts and they want to oppose that to certainty. They want to oppose the truth. And Allah says, if you were to obey every single one on earth, then they would distract you and they will misguide you from the truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses them with being, giving them clarity, with giving them intellect, with giving them awareness with consciousness they can they can be aware let's let's leave this misguidance leave this 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 delusion and that, that's what's being said and that's what and the, and the and this inner self says leave this life of worshiping god and this whole and diverts and distracts them to venerate this world, this materialistic life of the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them aware and he makes it clear and he says if there's a verse or a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heavens or on the earth and they are going past it and they are turned away from it. The, the time for accounting for people have come has come close and they are in huge um, um, head heedlessness every verse which is being recited to them they ignore it whilst they are in a state of a playful state just playing in this world and seeking after like John this is the state Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes them to be everything which they have everything which they venerate it's all la'ib it's all classed as play it's all classed as games if it's anyone who's turned away or been distracted from Allah and the remembrance of Allah, then it is classed as la'ib, it is classed as games, it is classed as leisure. Whether it is building, whether it's, uh, whether it's governments and power and gaining power. This world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this world is but games and competing in luxuries and competing in accumulating the abundance in wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is as if it is it is a rain which has arrived to a land and people are astonished by the amount of rain and they believe that this will grow their crops. But at the same time, it makes it completely barren and empty. So it's the blessing of Allah, which Allah has given them and which that in itself is what they are distracted or they are being, that they are choosing to be deluded in. So you are the one of the two, you are on the day of judgment this one is in is in punishment eternal punishment and wretchedness and this one is in the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala each and every single one of us we will either be here in punishment or in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure oh allah the, the reveal of the quran oh allah make every single one here and everyone who can hear and our families and any their children and our children and their children make us of those on the day of judgment who receive your pleasure and your forgiveness Ya Allah, oh Allah, give us this forgiveness and, and bestow upon us your, your pleasure 
for us, for our friends, and for anyone of the believers, and the, make us of those who receive this forgiveness and this pleasure from you on the day of judgment. For the youngest one of us, to the oldest one of us, from a male to our females, each and every single one of us, envelop us in your mercy and your ple and, and in your compassion. Do not throw us to punishment. Do not make us despair on the day of judgment. And do not allow us to fall behind from the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. O oh Allah, connect us to the best of, correct, of slaves and allow us to be under the banner on the day of judgment of praise. Allow us to pass on the sirat to paradise eternally and permanently. O oh Allah, O oh the beginning, beginning, or oh the, the one who brings into creation and brings into existence, the one who does what he does, these hands, we have put them up to you with complete neediness and humility and humbleness and dependency on you. We are certain that it's, the affair is in your hand, the worldly life, the life of the barzakh and the qiyamah and the last day and paradise or hellfire. Everything is within your hands. So we call you and we say, Ya Allah, you are the Lord of everything which we have just mentioned. So we believe in you. So allow us to know the beauty of this faith and increase us in faith and give us more of our faith and certainty in you. Gather us on the day of judgment with the people of faith, those who are given in paradise everything that they want and they are given more. And we say that according to what you have said, O oh Allah, in the Quran, where you have said they have everything they wish therein, and we have for them even more. And the believers are drawn close to paradise, as in, and it's not far. Allah says, This is what you have been given for all those who have been protected. <clears throat> Those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the unseen and they come to Allah with a sound heart. Allah is speaking to these people through the angels and the messengers and he says to them, enter therein with peace. That is the day of eternality and permanence. You have everything you want and we have and I have even more for you. And what about the other people? Will they say that... We, w w would they be given an increasement or we have more? Would that be more of a punishment or would that be more of reward? So the people on the other side are the one of the two that we will end up. <coughs> Paradise or the hellfire is asked, are you full? And then, and then hellfire asks, is there any more? Whereas the people of paradise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they have everything that they want and I have even more for them. And for the people of hellfire, Allah asks, address hellfire and says, are you full? And then hellfire says, is there any more? Oh Allah, allow us to enter paradise. Ameen. Ameen. Oh the Lord of the universe. And anyone who understands the greatness of this blessing from the believers, they should beautify their approach in what they do for the rest of their lives and what remains of days in their life by preparing and by getting together limited days and limited years, limited months, limited weeks, days which are limited, hours which are very limited, breaths which are even limited. Nothing will increase. And it won't be decreased. But what is behind it is a far greater affair. And on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is a severe punishment and there is punish or there are reward and there is the forgiveness of Allah. The, oh, everyone who can hear, there is only these two paths. There's either one or the other. So Ya Allah, the Lord of this world and the Lord of the afterlife, Make us of those who receive forgiveness and your pleasure on the day of judgment, Ya Allah. And this world is but a short moment of desires. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, compete in attaining forgiveness from your Lord and seeking and receiving heaven, which it's expanded beyond and far greater than the heavens and the earth, which is for the believers and for the messengers. Oh Allah, we believe 
in Allah and we believe in the messengers. We ask you, Ya Allah, to look into the heart of the one who is speaking and those who are listening to increase our hearts in faith and in certainty in you and in your messengers and prophets, each and every single one. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, paradise which has been prepared for the believers and for the messengers and the prophets. So we believe in Allah and the messengers and the prophets. And as we say that, whatever whispers which are whispers and doubts and illusions which are within our hearts and within our souls which are around there, this will cast them away. So we say, oh Allah, we believe in you and we believe in your messengers. So everyone say, oh Allah, we believe in you and we believe in your messengers. Oh Allah, make that reality, make it real faith in you and in your messengers within our hearts. Oh Allah, the most generous. Ya Allah. Ya Karim, Ya Mannan, Ya Allah. And if you are certain within that, then you are upon the best of ways. Unite upon protecting yourselves from paths which lead to your destruction, which are displayed and beautified in front of us by the disbelievers and the ones who are seeking to only use you and see you as only consumers. This messenger, this message that we believe in is from Allah, carried by the angels upon the individual, the most pure, the most God, the most pious the most pure, the most clean, the, most, the leader of the heavens, the people, those in the heavens and those on the earth. And it's not, the, the point here is not just these, uh, these what, what comes into the, into the minds, into the hearts of the believers and from the jinns on the earth. That's just one portion who have been created to be tested and to be tried. And many, a majority will be in par would, would be in despair. And a lot of people are failing this, ta this test, this trial, this tribulation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you, if you follow everyone, if you follow everyone, everyone, and you obey them, you will only be misguided. On the on Isra and Mi'raj, the amount of people who were gathered on the Day of Judgment. On the heavens, on the earth, the angels who were gathered together. They were all, the prophets and the messengers were there as souls. But the messenger, Muhammad, was there with his physical body. It was only him and, and Prophet Jesus, uh, Prophet Isa, who were there with their own physical bodies. And only one of them out of those two who were there with their bodies was honored and was uh, uh, instructed to return back onto earth and to convey everything that he sees. So these prophets with their souls, how many people have been guided? through the blessings of messengers and prophets from before, from the previous nations. And how many people were given guidance into their hearts through only seeing the messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu and these and this 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 which was given to the messenger of Allah it is said on the day of judgment the, it is said to the messenger of Allah, I am the most of prioritized or I'm the most closest to you. I've claimed victory to your religion. I've served your religion. Okay. So as it was 
the reality where the Messenger of Allah gathered with all prophets and messengers on the day uh, on the day of the Isra wa Mi'raj in the heavens, and uh, the Messenger of Allah met them and he remained with them on the day of judgment. Each and every single one of them would be seeking close proximity to the Messenger of Allah. The Messenger, Prophet Adam, would say, I am your father. I have more right to be close to you in proximity. Isa, Jesus, would say, I gave people the glad tidings of your arrival and I lived as part of your ummah and no other prophet or no one else has more priority to being in close proximity to you. وقال إن الله يقول لأن لك في هذه الليلة ثلاث دعوات مقبولة لأمتك فسأل فقيل لي ما الأولى فقلت اللهم اغفر لأمتي فقيل لي فما الثانية فقلت اللهم اغفر لأمتي قيل لي فما الثالثة and it is it is a narration it is a narration where the messenger of Allah where the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives this this world to those who he loves and to those who he does not love but he does not give this religion to accept those that he loves your brother here your brother here mentioned prior to me where he mentions that the difficulty which he went through to come to Tareem and once he has arrived he noticed that to arrive here with all the difficulties that it's worth it completely. Do you not see the do you not feel the 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 the, the, the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the blessings which we have given? And do we not see the value of these blessings which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us? Should it not make us more grateful? Should it not make us more steadfast? Should it not make us follow? more closely the messenger of Allah peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and before we cut out the mess uh, Habib mentioned that there's a narration where the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa was asked by Allah in the layl of Islam and Mi'raj that you have three du'as for you have three du'as so what would you ask and then the first one he said oh Allah forgive my ummah and then the second one he said okay that's the first so what's the second one and the messenger of Allah said oh Allah forgive my for, forgive my ummah and then on the third, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, then what's your third? And then he says, the third, I have left it for on the day of judgment, for interceding for my ummah on the day of judgment. So, so coming back to the blessings of these gatherings and how people are sacrificing so much to be here. Should we not feel the blessing and the, the, the beauty of these sort of gatherings? And on the night of Isra wa Mi'raj, they, when the messenger of Allah and angel Jibreel were ascending into the heavens and they would knock on the doors and then the prophet who would be behind would ask, who is it? And then he will say, angel Jibreel. And then they would say, who is with you? Are they not aware that this was going to happen? Do they not know that the messenger of Allah is with them? The scholars would say, they do know and they are aware that this is the messenger of Allah, but through the haber and the seriousness, the beauty of the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, that the moment is finally happening where they get to meet the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, they have to seek clarification. They end up in a moment of being awestruck by the, just the sheer presence of the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. He has, 
you know, is this the appointed time? Have we reached this appointed time? And then they will say, welcome for the best of people to come, to come in. This, this is this, this, that messenger who's being welcomed in the heavens like that is our prophet. For him to be with us is a blessing. As the prophet saw that whenever he would ascend into each heaven, that he would be entered into each heaven, that was a blessing that the prophets found. And they saw the, 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 the true realities of that blessing. No one can reduce the greatness or affect the greatness of the messenger of Allah. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. 1440 years have gone past everything will come to a point on the before the day of judgment here and we will and everyone will know who this prophet is who Abu Qasim is who the father of Fatima is he a messenger selected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one has been selected to such a degree in design and in creation. Anyone other than him, a slave who was drawn closer to Allah and to uh, the divine presence more than anyone. Who is that? That is Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Let him, let his, let our gatherings be honored by him. Let our hearts be honored by him. May Allah increase you all in benefit. Uh, may Allah increase you all in love for him, in claim, claim victory with him, and living upon his sunnah, and to die upon his sunnah, and on the day of judgment to be resurrected in his circle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls, and he seeks, do you know, oh you who is present, who is here today, do you not know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened for you? The breezes of Islam or Mi'raj is, is, is blowing through us and around us where hearts and souls are receiving the, 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 the divine subtleties in these, in these, from these moments which have taken place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, glorified is he who made his slave go on a night journey from the mosque of the, in Mecca to the Masjid al-Aqsa um, where we have blessed its surroundings for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most is, is the all seeing and the all hearing we hear through him O oh Allah your verses and we see through him the sunnah and the way we see you so we ask you ya Allah to gather us for we know nothing of you except for what the messenger of Allah has been sent with O oh Allah the acceptor of all calls O oh, the one who accepts the call of his slave ya hayyu ya qayyum ya Allah Take away, alleviate all the trials and tribulations that which are befallen the Ummah of Muhammad. Connect and, uni and, and unify the Ummah of Muhammad. Oh Allah, the most merciful of the merciful. Oh, anyone here who has intellect. All of those who have knowledge or those who have any claim in advancement in medicine and in if you were unable to protect yourselves from the harm of, 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 a, of a virus and you are unable to protect yourselves and keep yourselves clear from its harms and effect, then at least show recognition to the creator that also and, and, and seek cure and seek the, to see the, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is Allah, so let's leave us in our gatherings and leave us in our ziyaras, for I swear by Allah, sicknesses are not cured by closing masajid, by closing mosques. Afflictions are not alleviated by closing mosques. 
And the ones who went to close their places of worship, to close the mosque, are the ones who were impacted and affected the most. And if I become sick, he is the one who cures me. Said in the Quran. And how long will Allah continue to remind you and to call for you to be awake, but you're not waking up? Allah says, verily, there is a remembrance in this for those who have a heart and those who, when they are reminded, they enter a state of remembrance. Allah says, and we will show them my signs on the, on the horizons and even within themselves up until it is clear for them the truth. And do they not know after all the signs, do they not come to the conclusion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all encompassing of everything? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is all encompassing over everything. So let's seek the cure for our hearts and for our souls and seek to expose ourselves into the, 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 the nutritional, the spiritual uh, sources of love and, and, and worship and devotion to Allah. Oh Allah, bless us in these bless in, in, in these in these good which you all this good which you have given us. It is said about the Ziyar and Nabiullah Hud. And to said or Mr. the saying about the Ziyar of Nabiullah Hud. It is said by the people who weren't seeking power, who weren't seeking um, ranks, who weren't seeking uh, uh, dominance in this world. They were seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They would say with the evidence that the, 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 the ones who are internally inspired, intended to attend these gatherings or these ziyaras are those who are internally um, um, fallacious and those who are, uh, are, are detested by it, who, are, who belittle it, are only in the state of, um, of um, humility. So from those who were seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they saw within these gatherings the greatness and the uh, amount of afflictions which are uplifted and alleviated from the ummah wherever they are it was these people who were seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely who tell us about these importance of these gatherings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and on the day of judgment this is the day where those who were truthful their truthfulness will benefit them oh Allah make us of those who are truthful and bless us in our commemoration of Isra wa Mi'raj oh ya Qayyum bless us in the end of Rajab oh Allah and bless us in Sha'ban Oh Allah, and bless us in the gatherings of the believers and the Jum'ah of believe, well, the, the gatherings of Friday for the believers and the worship of the worshippers. And oh Allah, give us assistance in worshipping you and in remembering you and being beautiful in our worship to you. Oh Allah, bless this night and allow us all to reach Ramadan and make us of those who are elite in your presence that you gaze upon them on the first night of Ramadan, that that gaze that they will be given um, felicity, eternal felicity from that night where they will never be wretched thereon. Oh Allah, the most generous, the, the first. Oh Allah, the inner and the outward. Oh, the most uh, exalted and the, the one in control. Oh Allah, everything is under your hand, under is your control. Everything returned to you. Give us what we seek of you. Oh Allah, our, see, our hopes are in you and our hopes are, are atoms in weight of your ability and in your, great, your gratefulness, Ya Allah. So we leave and we put our hands. We, give, we, we hope in you and we hope from you more than what we have hoped. Uh, give us according to what you, who, who you are, oh Allah. Oh Allah, you, you, you meet the needs of the slaves. You are the one who uh, alleviates the, the difficulties. You are the one who brings and takes away uh, epidemics and pandemics and sicknesses and viruses. Oh Allah, 
protect us from its evil and from its harm. Oh Allah, push it away from us. We know in the word of Allah that you said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah defends and Allah protects the believers. So we in sincerity and in humility, we raise our hands to you and we say, Oh Allah, your defense and your defense from, uh, for us, we ask you to defend and protect us and our families and those who we love and those who are close to us, the believers, everyone, Oh Allah, defend and protect from us all the afflictions and the harms and the, and, and the epidemics and, and, and the evils, that which is inward and that which is outward. Oh Allah, you protect the believers. You protect and defend from the believers. We believe in you and we trust in you and our hopes are in you, Ya Allah, and we seek to refuge by you, Oh Allah. And we are certain that everything is within your hands and that we are certain in that there is no God other than you, Oh Allah, make it hasten for us. The, the reward in alleviating and in protecting and in covering and in moving away and turning away all sicknesses and illnesses away from us, that which is outward and that which is inner. Oh Allah, you're the, the first of the, and those who has no ending. Oh Allah, the, 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 the one who has, who's compassionate to the poor and the needy. Oh Allah, the most merciful of the most merciful, we have accepted the call. So increase us in everything that we have hoped in you and treat us in a manner befitting to your majesty. And oh Allah, oh forgive us. Oh Allah, you are the most forgiving and you overlook. So overlook our sins. Oh Allah, you are the overlooker of faults. So you love to overlook. So overlook us and overlook our sins. Oh Allah, inna ka'afu. You're the one who overlooks our sins and our mistakes and you love to overlook. You are the most generous, Ya Allah. Ya ka, oh Allah, you are generous in overlooking. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala overlooks you through the generosity, all forget about the sins which are being forgiven. All your sins are turned into good deeds. It has no more accountability. It is no more, it's no more a weight. It's no more luggage. We're judging to hellfire. It is the overlooking of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is you're no longer going to be held accountable. This is this. This is the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Allah says, I have covered your faults. And you said this and you did this. And then I overcame that with my compassion and with my mercy. How beautiful. Even the question that he asks for those, the, how he addresses those that he loves. It's a love. It's, it's a questioning of, of beauty, of eye opening. So then Umar. Two, two types of questions the, the a, a question which is in a, a test or an affliction which is uh, uh, the manifest uh, it is the, the the blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's those three days that there was not even tamar available in the house of the daughter of the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And had he could, the messenger of Allah would have poured gold upon her, but that's not what he wanted. That's not what he wanted. And that's not what she then became through that patience and through that uh, dealing with, the, uh, with, with all types of trials and tribulations that she becomes the, 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 the leader of all women in paradise. Oh Allah, do not allow us to fall behind from the day of judgment. Make us of those who you have blessed from the prophets, from the truthful ones, from the martyrs and from the righteous and the best of companions they are. And that is the blessing of Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient to be all knowing and all praise be to Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fil awaleen wa salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fil akhirin wa salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fi kulli waqtin wa hain wa salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fil mala ila ala ila yawm al-deen wa salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin hatta tarith al-arda wa man alayha wa anta khayru al-warithin wa salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi